Kia's cars have often struggled with safety over the years. Back in the 90s, they produced some of the most dangerous vehicles available for sale. Their more recent products have come a long way since then, but so too have the crash tests, which are much more demanding now. Today, we'll find out if the new Kia Carnival has what it takes to keep families safe. Let's start with the updated side impact evaluation. Regrettably, the Carnival has multiple failures in this test. The structure has an extremely high amount of intrusion. The distance between the B pillar and seat center line is a dismal 8 centimeters. This is considerably worse than the Honda Odyssey, Chrysler Pacifica, and Toyota Sienna. What's especially concerning is how much the rear seat shifted during the crash. Surprisingly, this is actually an improvement. When the Carnival was first crash tested, the rear seat shockingly became detached from the floor. In response, Kia made improvements to the seat rails to reduce the severity of this issue. We can see, though, that the seat still shifts much more than other minivans. This side-by-side -side comparison with the Pacifica shows the stark difference. This isn't the end of the bad news for the Kia. The driver recorded a high risk of injuries to the pelvis and a moderate risk to the torso. The passenger also had a high injury risk to the torso. These injury risks are significantly higher than the competition. Unsurprisingly, the Carnival scores the lowest rating of poor in this test. Next up, let's look at the safety of rear seat passengers in a frontal collision. We'll use the updated moderate overlap test, which has a crash test dummy in the rear seat. The Carnival also had trouble in this test. The rear seat dummy recorded an elevated risk of injuries to the chest, head, and neck. The good news is the rear seat restraint system does a decent job controlling the dummy. The lap belt remained in the optimal position on the pelvis throughout the crash test. The Carnival scored the second lowest rating of marginal in this evaluation. Let's take a look at the strength of the Carnival structure in a frontal collision. The small overlap test is the best evaluation to do this because it concentrates all the crash forces on only 25% of the structure. The Kia did well on the driver's side. Peak intrusion in the upper compartment is a decent 7 centimeters. Injury measures are low, and the restraints work well to control dummy movement. The passenger side structure does a little worse. Upper compartment intrusion peaks at 10 centimeters. This is higher than the Sienna, Odyssey, and Pacifica. Otherwise, the Carnival does well on the passenger side. Overall, it earned the highest score of good on the driver and passenger sides. The Kia's roof withstood just over 21,300 pounds of peak force. This earned the Carnival the highest rating of good. This is less than the Toyota Sienna and Honda Odyssey, but better than the Chrysler Pacifica. The Carnival's automatic emergency braking systems have mixed results in the passenger avoidance tests. The upgraded system has flawless performance in daylight. However, the base system failed to stop in some of the tested scenarios. At nighttime, the Carnival's results are much more disappointing. With the vehicle colliding with pedestrians in most tested scenarios, this is especially a problem when only the low beams were running. The Carnival has two headlight variants. The base ones employ LED reflectors, and these fall short in every tested scenario. These lights have automatic high beams, but even these don't project far enough. They score the lowest rating of poor. The upgraded headlights use LED projectors. These ones have much better range, but the high beams still fall short on the left side of the vehicle. This variant also has automatic high beams and score the highest rating of good. It's clear from all these tests that the Carnival is the least safe new minivan on the market. In the updated side impact test, it has excessive structural intrusion and poor dummy protection. It has high injury risks in the updated moderate overlap evaluation and above average intrusion in the passenger small overlap test. Fortunately, it does better on the driver's side small overlap and roof strength tests. Any other new minivan would make a safer choice than the Kia Carnival. While it's not perfect, the Toyota Sienna is currently the safest option in this class. If you found this interesting, check out this playlist of midsize SUVs. Thanks for watching.